During the time since I last posted a devlog video nearly a month ago, I was actually ready to publish an updated version of my game Get A Little Gold for close testing. However, when I asked testers if they wanted me to publish the game immediately or if there was anything else I should add before releasing it, they said they were willing to wait another month or two for me to implement red shards. Oh, you don't know what red shards are? They're a prestige currency in Get A Little Gold. Not only do red shards directly boost your gold production stats, such as gold per second and gold per click, but they also can be spent to learn extremely powerful hero skills influencing every aspect of the game. However, to obtain red shards, you first need to collect some inactive shards and then go through an activation process. This process involves leaving behind all the progress you achieved so far, including unlocked challenges, global skills, amulets, medals and so on, in order to turn your inactive shards into red ones. There are several ways to obtain inactive shards. You can acquire some simply by playing and increasing your total gold collected stat. Additionally, you can randomly receive inactive shards as a reward for completing challenges with an impossible ranking. Finally, once you unlock chess challenges and the golem challenge, you'll also be able to obtain inactive shards from them. However, in the current version of the game, neither chest nor golem challenges are implemented. So the only two ways of earning inactive shards are either from total gold or from ordinary challenges. The first thing I addressed was the inactive shards in 4 tab, a pop-up window displaying information about inactive shards once you tap its icon in the inventory menu. Unlike every other info tab that displays icon, name, description and quantity, the inactive shards info tab now also shows a detailed breakdown of the sources from which you received your inactive shards. I also updated the red shards info tab by adding details on the bonus to gold per second and gold per click it provides. The next step was to create an activation menu, where players would be able to exchange their inactive shards for red ones. This menu can be accessed by clicking a shard button in the top right corner of the challenge selection screen. Here, players can view all the necessary information about the amount of inactive shards they own, as well as detailed info about the bonus multiplier that will influence the actual amount of red shards they receive. Finally, I added a question mark button in the top right corner, which shows detailed information on what players keep and what they lose during activation. The last thing I did this month was adding a confirmation screen so that players don't activate shards by mistake. Now, when a player presses the activation button, they will see a beautiful Are you sure dialog and will be able to cancel this action if they want. That's about it for this month. I really hope to release the version with red shards in the next few weeks. If you are interested in the development of Get A Little Gold and don't want to miss its release, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now though, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.